To ride or not to ride, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to fight off the lingering effects of flu and possibly screw up a ride for your mates, or to stay at home and suffer quietly. I'm pretty sure that's what Shakespeare meant to say. But unfortunately, he didn't own a bicycle. Now, a couple of things have happened recently. I signed up for a flesh, that's 360 kilometers, or about 225 miles, it's next weekend. And a couple of weeks ago, I had about $1,500 worth of upgrades made to my road bike. When I bought it in 1999, it had campy chorus all over it. It had a 3x10 group set. But you can't buy the parts anymore. It's becoming more and more difficult, especially when Wiggle went into receivership. So after a lot of research, I purchased an entire campy chorus group set, rim brakes, 2x12. I got it for a little over $1,000 from Velomine. I paid my local bike shop $300 to install it. And I would have taken it for a test ride, but unfortunately, Southern California has been targeted with some really major storms every weekend, like laser targeted precision every weekend. So I haven't been able to ride. This coming weekend is going to be the same. So in desperation, I took a day off work because I really needed to test drive this stuff. In addition, I bought a redshift suspension stem, which I haven't ridden with yet, and I need to. So today the plan is to ride a fairly flat 120 mile ride, to shake out the group set and make sure I like the stem. Did it go to plan? Of course not, why would it? Do any of my bike rides ever go to plan? Anyhow, here's the route, at least that did go to plan. As you can see, it's about 120 miles with not that much climbing and all of my favorite restaurants. So the whole point of this ride was to test the new equipment. And I can't shift into the big chain ring, so it's gonna go back to the bike store. I'm sure they'll fix that in a moment. It's actually not a big deal. I've got a 34 tooth on the back now. So even in the big chain ring, I can handle some pretty nasty hills. But obviously I'm gonna get that fixed. The Redshift suspension stem, yeah, I like it. It takes a little getting used to. I, I like to pull up on the handlebars a bit when I'm climbing, and with the suspension stem, that's a nasty feeling. It feels like the handlebars have actually come loose. There's a moment of panic there. It's like, oh my god, my handlebars came off, I'm gonna die! But it's fine. It really is nice on the hands. My hands were not sore at all, far less than they would normally be at the end of a ride like this. But what I wasn't expecting is that this ride would test me. I mean, it's like a 200K, it's no big deal. I should be able to do this ride without any problems. That's not what happened. Uh, at first I was a little worried. I was thinking, oh my God, am I getting old? What's going on here? But then three weeks ago, I came down with a really nasty bout of the flu that lasted about a week. So I've only been symptom free for about uh, two weeks now. And when I did this ride, all the symptoms came back. I've been reading about long flu. I mean, it's pretty much the same as long COVID. And it means that even though you might feel better, you're not completely over the flu. And any extreme effort can cause the cough, the sore throat, the headaches, the achiness to come back. And when I finished the ride, I was so tired and I had a hacking cough that would not stop. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm signed up for a flesh in a week from now. And I don't feel that I'm capable of doing it. And the last thing I want to do is get halfway through and then start slowing down and coughing and causing problems for the team. Fortunately, there are four riders on the team. So by dropping out, it's not like I've ruined the team or anything. The other three will still be able to ride, and I'm sure they'll have a much better ride without me. Obviously, I'm disappointed, but I think I made the right call, especially with a team event. I think it's better to not start than to stop halfway through and potentially inconvenience your team. I don't know. What do you think? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Would you have started? Anyhow, enough of the philosophy. 
It's 28 miles into the ride and I'm ready for a cheese quesadilla. There she is, breakfast of champions. Twenty-eight miles, leaving Beach City Provisions. Now, normally I would stop and eat something around the 60 mile mark, but I just didn't feel like it today, which is really weird. In fact, I didn't eat again for the next 63 miles. And I've been able to do this since I had the heart attack. I don't know why. That stent has really helped. I'm seriously thinking about going back to them and asking for a couple more. So after another 63 miles for a total of 91 miles, I'm back at Beach City Provisions. All I've eaten today is two bagels and a cheese quesadilla and for some reason I'm not that hungry. Either this new group set is brilliant or something weird is happening. Okay, 28 miles to go, and I'm expecting a pretty nice tailwind on the way back, which I'm going to need because I'm not feeling that strong. this kid and his stupid dad. I am so sick of people treating the bike path like their personal playgrounds. I had a bad feeling about this kid and I was totally justified. I actually blame the dad more than I blame the kid. He should know better. Change your rock and roll. 